If you've been saving up your pocket money for a shiny new tablet, but haven't quite been swayed by this year's offerings, then you're in luck, as we take a look at some of the exciting tablets coming your way in 2013. We crowned the iPad Mini the best tablet of 2012, and even though the device is less than a month old, we're already itching to get our hands on its successor. We expect to see the iPad Mini 2 in late 2012, with the biggest change being an improved 2048 by 1536 resolution screen, to bring it in line with the iPad 4's Retina display. Samsung Galaxy Note 7.0 is rumoured to run Android's Jelly Bean 4.1 operating system on a 1.6GHz quad-core processor and boast a 720x1280 display. Keeping in line with previous Note devices, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7.0 will likely be a stylus-based device, making it a unique entrant to the 7-inch market. If there's ever an end in sight for the eye range, we don't see it. Apple is reportedly keen to release a thinner, lighter tablet sporting a slightly smaller 9.7-inch screen. It's possible the company is essentially looking to create a shrunk-down iPad 4, albeit with a few minor improvements thrown in. Speculation puts a recent iPad 5 around mid-2013. Although it hasn't been officially confirmed, RIM's BlackBerry 10 range will likely feature a brand new tablet device. The codename BlackBerry Black Forest is tipped to feature a 10-inch screen and will run BRIM's new BB10 software. Little else is known about the device, other than we could be seeing it sometime during the third quarter of 2013. Microsoft apparently intends to plough full steam into the tablet market next year by releasing not one, not two, but three new Surface tablets. The largest of these models is the Surface Book, which if rumour is anything to go by, will feature a laptop-sized 14.6-inch screen and will be powered by Intel's Haswell processor. New 8.9-inch and 11.6-inch Microsoft Surface models are also said to be in the pipeline.